Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. First of all, I just want to say congratulations to those who have entered my uh, last week's uh, analysis signals. They have made at least 400 pips of profit, if not more, uh, after using these free signals on my YouTube channel. Now, let me explain how, but uh, later. Anyway, let's see now how did the Euro USD move based on my expectation from the last week. So last week, I actually gave my analysis that the Euro USD should actually start reversing right on the support level on 1.10061. And we can exit the trade right on this resistance level right here. That is exactly what happened. And the Euro USD have moved uh, for, ar for around 82, 83 pips. And hopefully everyone have gotten these pips. Now, what's next? Now, looking at the weekly candle. Now we are on the weekly candles. Uh, on the weekly candles, we can see that we are on a very strong support level, as I mentioned before. We are still on the support. We didn't yet exceed it. And we can see the market has made a strong bullish reversal right on this support level. So let's now zoom in. So this is how the candle closed for the last week. This candle actually, um, I'm expecting for the next one, it will be a red candle because it just reversed on this resistance level. Uh, again, this is weekly candles. So we can see a few months ago, uh, the market has met a resistance right here and the market again reversed on the very same level so this resistance kept its position as a resistance so I'm expecting this candle the next one it's gonna be a red one however EURUSD on the long term on the, or on the long run is good to buy uh, because we can see as I mentioned before the support level right here on the weekly candles so I don't think the euro USD will exceed this level of the resistance right here. Let me just get rid of the other lines. So I don't think the euro USD will exceed this level of the resistance and this candle will be red. Maybe we can see here a small wick here reaching this the very bottom of this support level. However, uh, next week should be good to start selling the euro USD, but I'm sure the next one the week after should be good to start buying the euro usd uh, i just want to remind everyone that december is one of the slowest months for forex especially the second half of Mar uh, of december so i'm really thinking that the euro usd will start rising actually mid january uh, i don't th i don't see it happening before that unless there was some really uh, good news for the euro or bad news for the dollar that can help the rise so now let's go back to the daily candles daily candle we can see this candle friday night closed like this and this is my favorite price action indicating that the market actually should start falling down so what is the next move going on to the four hour chart so on the four hour chart as i said we can expect this week to be uh, a bearish momentum for the euro usd i think it will fall down after reversing for three times on this support uh, res uh, resistance level so the best level to start shorting the euro USD will be actually on this level. Let me just write it for you. One point, sorry, one point zero one zero six eight two. That should be actually better level to start shorting the euro USD. Expect for the euro USD to actually go against you for just a few bips like that until it hit this resistance level. So it can go against you just for hitting this resistance and then uh, hopefully it will be definitely good to start shorting and we can earn a lot of pips uh, it might go against you for like 20 pips maximum i believe this is gonna be fibonacci 61.8 if i'm not mistaken um just try to see exactly wow very good so this is the fibonacci 61.8 um however as I mentioned, EURUSD is in general good to start selling right after retesting the support level and it was also a resistance right here and right here. So all in all, oh did I delete that? Let me just write it again. Uh, EURUSD good for sell on uh, 1.10682. Hopefully the market will be loyal 
and we will get all these pips from the euro USD let's check the pound so the pound as I mentioned uh, has made the breakout from the resistance trend line and I, as I said uh, the pound USD if it broke in from this resistance we can start buying immediately or you can wait for the retest either way anyway um, the pound USD actually continue the rise and we can see it just continued to fly more up for almost 220 pips now what is the next move in my opinion the pound USD has to retest this broken support, uh, resistance level now guys who those those who have watched all my videos they know how um, I'm working with the trend lines all right um, especially those who have been with me in the binary options uh, signal uh, in the binary options uh, security group they know that when uh, this rule here when we have a resistance a resistance trend line being breaking out we need to look at the nearest resistance expecting for the pair to reverse and then we need to look for the retest level right here and then the market is going to continue flying more up that is what will going to happen in my expectation the pound USD has made the reversal right on this resistance right here we can see the resistance level so now the market seems to be uh, reversing especially right now we are on the daily candles and we can see this uh, reversed hammer and the market closed Friday night as this uh, candle and this is a good price action to start shorting the pound USD so all in all the pound USD is actually good to start sell immediately let, uh, let me just write it for you uh, you can sell right away uh, because this is the best level to start shorting the pound USD it might go against you for about 26 pips just to make another test for uh, the resistance however <clears throat> you know something no I think it is already good to start sell because this is the resistance right here it's gonna keep its position as a resistance however all in all the pound USD is really good to start sell we can keep the trade running until the market will go down here to retest this broken trend line and then it's gonna fly more up again this is ma might be not gonna happen uh, in December I think it's gonna happen in January because it's gonna take long time for the pound USD to reach this level of the broken trend line to retest this support level again and it will fly up so all in all pound uh, USD is good to start sell and you can keep your trade running until it hit this uh, previous uh, support level on 1.1 sorry 1.29 let me write it for you right that's better I'm sure everyone like to see it written instead of hearing so this is your take profit level and hopefully we will get all these pips and it's gonna be a good week for the pound USD let's check now the AUD USD all right so AUD USD as I mentioned it's really good to start buying right on this level that is exactly what happened we can see the support number number one here and the market made the support number two the buy order was perfectly done and the market has reversed right on this level so now what is the next move um, we can expect now let me just delete all of that let me see in my opinion um, this candle here uh, this price action indicating a continuation in the trend uh, it doesn't seem to be that the market is falling down or rising however no sorry it doesn't seem to be falling down uh, it's a continuation and I think the market is gonna continue uh, rising a little bit more up until it hit this previous resistance right here uh, yes exactly like that so in my opinion uh, uh, AUD USD should be start uh, should be good to start uh, shorting on the level let me just write it sell on 0 0.68692 that should be better level to start short the AUD USD the reason is we have really very strong resistance level right here and since the price action here along with this bullish uh, breakout indicating a continuation in the trend I think that AUD USD will continue rising more up until it hit this previous resistance and then it's gonna actually start falling more down so if you have entered this if you will enter the sell on the AUD USD 
keep your trade running until it hit the previous support right here so we can look for about 100 pips of profit let's check now the USD CAD now the USD CAD however is ranging a lot at the level as I mentioned in the last video uh, USD CAD is good to start sell and you can keep your trade running uh, if you have opened any sell orders keep them running and those who have kept them running I think they have made approximately because I send the signal uh, right on this level here we can those who have entered my signal they have made around 110 pips of profit now this movement right here the last uh, candle the bullish uh, reversal here this was uh, made by the unemployment rate news on last Friday afternoon news came and it moved the uh, the, uh, the USD uh, to move about 76 pips uh, against the, the original direction in my opinion the original the original direction of the trend is actually going down however we can see here that we had a resistance level right here and the market has reached this previous resistance and then reverse and the candle friday night closed as like that indicating that the market has uh, reversed at this resistance level so in my expectation the usd cad should be still good to start sell and actually this is the best level to start shorting the usd cad and i will stick to the sell now signal for the usd cad because we are on a very good strong resistance level and therefore we can expect for the usd cad to continue falling all the way until it is this pre you know something let me just uh, see it again uh no not all the way we can expect for the usd cad to keep to keep falling until exactly here yeah until this previous support level that should be good uh, 90 pips even more almost 100 pips of profit hopefully after that we need to see the price action which will be followed with uh, a week midweek analysis video i will tell you what we can do however this is the signal for uh, the usd cad we can see the reversal already happened this is a very good price action to start shorting the USD CAD. So again, USD CAD is good to start sell right away. Let's look at the USD GPY. All right. So the USD GPY has also reversed as I predicted right on this resistance. After we had the breakout from this resistance level right here, I told you to, to hold your position because we have here also a resistance level. So we can expect for the USD GPY to reverse right on this resistance. And that is exactly what happened. The USD GPY has fallen down for almost 107 pips. Now, what is the next move? Now, in my opinion, USD GPY is going to actually continue falling down and then we can start by the usd gpy because here we have a support number one and the gpy might create actually a support number two so if we enter here the buy order for the usd gpy don't expect for the market to reverse for a long time and uh, most likely what will gonna happen is gonna go all the way up here create a resistance number two because here we can see a resistance number one so I'm expecting for the USD GPY to fall down like that, hitting the support level, reverse, go a little bit more up, hitting this uh, previous resistance to create a resistance number two attempt, and then finally it's gonna fall down and hit this previous support level. So this is actually your signal for the USD GPY. Uh, it's uh, on a pullback level, so I, can, I, re I really cannot give uh, a best uh, level to start buying and selling because uh, it's all varying however if i have to let me tell you that the first signal we can do uh, for the usd gpy is actually buy it on the level 107.939 and then we can start shorting again the usd gpy right on the level 100 hold on sell on 109.625 as I mentioned, it's just varying. Um, I'm just telling you in general what is my expectation for the movement of the USD GPY. So it's up to you what, what level exactly you want to buy or sell. Uh, you can sell immediately right away and hoping for the market to fall down immediately uh, on Monday to hit this previous uh, support here. So however, that is my expectation. 
for the USCGPY. Let's look at the USCCHF, which I really hate the most. I mean, hate, I hate it. I just hate to see this market ranging like that and asking me to give any opinion or any signal about it. That is just ugly. I just don't even think about trading USDCHF, to be honest. It's out of my expectations. However, if I have to, uh, let me look to the weekly candles. Man, look at that shit. What am I looking here? What am I looking at? <laughs> That's ugly. That's ugly. It's like one week is red, one week is uh, blue. I mean, that's ugly. All in all, I can expect for the USCCHF to fall down because right now on monthly candle, we can see right now here that the market has a resistance level, which was pending for about three years. And right now we can see the reversal happened for several months on this resistance. So going to the daily candle, as I mentioned, uh, all in all, the general direction is to fall down. So what we can see here, the, the USDCHF has hit in this uh, support level for a million times. So we can expect for the USDCHF to actually rise a little bit more up, hitting this resistance, and then it's gonna fall down. Uh, let me just write it for you. Uh, like that. All right. So USDCHF should be good to start sell on 0 0.99493 and hopefully it will uh, move as I predicted. However, uh, we should uh, take the profit right on the previous level where the support level was here. So if the market hopefully will reverse, we can expect about 92 pips of profit. Let's go to, to the gold now. Now, the gold, what happened to the gold? Um, those who have taken my gold signal has also made really good profit because I mentioned in the last week analysis video that the gold should be good to start buying on this support level and exit your trade right on this resistance. So if you did the same, you could have, you would have earned about 150 pips of profit. Very nice. Now, what is the next move? I just want to mention that this is for our chart okay and the uh, gold actually was supposed to rise a little bit more up after hitting the support level here however the market went down because of the unemployment rate for the dollar that is the reason gold has fallen like that uh, the good the news was good for the dollar and that's for the reason the uh, gold has fallen so in my opinion it's just a correction and the market or the gold sorry the market, the way I keep saying the market, the gold, the market, the gold, whatever, is going to reverse right on this support level, which was also a strong support and resistance. Um, it seems to be a good level to start buying the gold because we can see the level has already reached this level of the support level right here. I'm just looking here, by the way. So this support level and the market has reached it, almost reversed. So this should be actually a good level to start buying the gold again. And as I mentioned, it is only a correction in the in the level. So let's see. Uh, let's assume that we have bought the gold right here. Where should I exit my trade? You should exit your trade right on the level where I mentioned last week because this resistance seems to be it's going to keep its position as a resistance. And then the gold actually might continue falling more down. So for this week, we can start buying the gold from this level. Let me just write it for you. Uh, buy the gold on the level one five, sorry, one four five seven, and keep your trade running until it hit this previous uh, resistance uh, for almost one hundred and forty five pips of profit, hopefully. And after that, I will follow it with the midweek analysis video. So we can see what we get, what we can do later with the gold. So, however, I really hope this will be profitable and good week to everyone. Uh, it seems promising. However, again, uh, December is really slow month for the market. Uh, so please be patient and uh, hopefully you will gain all the profits you need. However, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.